Hey guys, welcome. So thank you for being on time as usual. Um, today I'm going to be with my camera off because the internet is not working properly. However, today is going to be like a conversation class. So um, yesterday we were talking about simple present, especially uh, frequency adverbs we were talking about frequency adverbs if i'm not mistaken that was the last topic that was left over and today we're going to continue with it okay so i will give you like a brief explanation on how to use it and then you're going to create your own sentences so before we start do you have any questions <clears throat> no questions okay so we were discussing about this topic, frequency adverbs or adverbs of frequency. So just remember that we have different expressions in order to express um, the frequency of an action, how often you do something. So you need to memorize this and the percentage they, they represent. So, for example, when we have always, is because you do the action, like, all the time. On the other hand, when we have 0%, is because you don't do that action, okay? So, we also have usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, and never. Let's pay attention to the 5% because it is hardly ever. It isn't ever hardly. And I'm highlighting this one because this, uh, this appears in the exam. So we have the first sentence with always. Help me read Alessandro, the first sentence. She always goes to the nightclub to dance. Excellent. So as I told you yesterday, it doesn't matter if we have an adverb in between the subject and the verb, especially when we talk in third person singular, it doesn't change. We always need to apply the rules for a third person. Like in this case, she goes to the nightclub to dance. If I add the frequency adverb, it doesn't matter, okay? We always apply the third person singular rule. She always goes to the nightclub to dance. Uh, continue, Christian. Okay. Um, they usually quarrel. Very good. Excellent. They usually quarrel. Continue, please. Daniel Flores. Daniel Flores. Uh, the second one. 
Uh, the third one, please. The third one. Oh, okay. She always goes to the nightclub to dance. The third one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 80%. Normally. I normally go to the gym. Excellent. Uh, continue, Daniel Hernandez. Of, often. They often go grow for dinner. Excellent. This one has two pronunciation. If you want to mention the letter T, that's fine. If not, that's also fine. You can neither say often or often. In spoken English, they will use often. So they often go out for dinner. Continue, please, Jaime Antillon. I sometimes go with... Um, I sometimes go with my husband. Excellent. I sometimes go with my husband. Excellent. Continue, please, Roberto. Uh, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, I can. Okay. Occasionally, okay, I occasionally eat just food, junk food. Excellent. I occasionally eat junk food. It means occasionalmente, it's pretty obvious. Junk food. It means like comida chatarra. 10% Juan Campos. Uh, 50% sometimes. Now this I... one, 10%, 10, 10%, seldom. Oh, perdón, teacher. I'm sorry. 10%, seldom. I seldom read the newspaper. Excellent. Thank you. Juan Carlos Hernandez. Okay. Uh, hardly ever. I hardly ever drink alcohol. Perfect. Christian. I never go to the cinema. I don't like it. Excellent. I never go to the cinema. I don't like it. Awesome. Do you have any questions about this? <clears throat> Yo tengo una pregunta, Tich. Mm -hmm. Ese los porcentajes no es, son fijos. Por ejemplo, en la clase de ayer, es el usually era el 80%. Mm -hmm. Yo ya por, entonces, como que digamos uno se tiene que hacer la idea que por eso andan rondando los porcentajes. No es que esté definido. Exactly, exactly. It actually depends on the perspective of the person. But yeah, it is like just a, a percentage. It is not like just like that, right? It depends on you and the perspective of the person that is using them. Yeah, this one could be like, um, I would say um, this one is like an 85% or 80%. Okay. And this one is 90%. That's fine. Okay. okay, gracias. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So, actually, um, always, sometimes, and never, uh, those never change. So, always is always 100%, sometimes 50%, and never 0%. Those don't change. But very good observation. Thank you. So, any other questions? <clears throat> Teacher, what's uh -huh. mean sell Seldom means like uh, rarely. Do you remember rarely? Es como decir, yo apenas voy a las 500, hago tal cosa. Es como que dijéramos rarely. Yo rara, rara, rara vez hago esto, raramente hago esto. Y hardly ever means apenas. Uy, yo apenas bebo alcohol. Yo a las 500 bebo alcohol. And so on. More questions? Let's continue. Help me read this question, Alessandro. All. Just a question. Oh, how often do you clean your house? Excellent. So this question is very common in simple present. How often? This one, how often? Whenever a person is asking you any questions and by using how often is because they want to know the frequency 
of something. So, hey teacher, how often do you clean your house? You know, I hardly ever clean my house because I don't do it. My mom does it. So, how often? What is the meaning of how often? Con que frecuencia? Okay, teacher, con que frecuencia usted limpia su casa? Entonces, we have two options. We can either use, well, actually, we have three options. We can use frequency adverbs, we can use them expressions, or we can use both. For example, I want to use a time expression. How often do you clean your house? Um, I clean my house every other day. Un día sí, un día no. Okay? I clean my house every other day. You know, I hardly ever clean my house. I still send on frequency every. What if I want to use both? You know, I always clean my house on Sundays. I always clean my house on Sunday. Yo siempre limpio mi casa los domingos. O el domingo. So we have three options. But don't forget about the position of frequency adverbs, okay? Because um, it sometimes changes, but the meaning changes as well. But um, I prefer to use them in between the subject and the verb, okay? And the time expressions like on Sunday, those can be at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence, but never between, okay? Supongamos que eh, quiero decir todos los días, every day. Every day can be used at the beginning of a sentence, but you have to use a comma to separate them. Or we can place it at the end of the sentence. I prefer to use it at the end of the sentence. So I can say, I clean my house every day. Or every day, comma, I clean my house. It sounds a little bit weird. So that's the reason I prefer to leave it at the end of the sentence. So we have some um, sentences. Help me with the first one, Brian Lucero. I always... Uh, I always clean my house in the morning. Excellent. Daniel Flores. I usually clean my house in the morning. Perfect. Roberto Portal. I sometimes clean my house. Excellent. And we have the last one. I never clean my house. My mom, my mother does. Any questions? So guys, remember, this is very important. We are using the question, how often? So I may ask you, um, Daniel Hernandez, how often do you go to church? I always go to church. Excellent. Uh, and huh? Sunday. On Sunday, perfect. On Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, Christian, how often do you go to the doctor? I rarely go to the doctor. Rarely. 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 Very good. Jaime, how often do you smoke? Um, I never smoke. Perfect. Juan Carlos Hernandez, um, how often do you visit your grandparents? I always visit my grandparents Excellent. on Sunday. Very good. So actually, that's the way that we use it, okay? Whenever I ask you a question with how often, it's because I'm asking you most of the times in simple present. And as I told you, we have three options. We can use frequency adverbs, we can use time expressions, or we can use both. Do you have any questions? No, this is actually very easy. And these are the time expressions that we have. Help me read uh, Roberto Portal. Other time expressions. Every day, every night, every afternoon, every night, yeah, every sorry. other day, uh, from time to time, once in a while, uh, every now and then. Thank you. Now, this is the activity that we are going to do right now. 
it says talk about your mother's daily routine if you don't know about your mother's daily routine make it up invéntelo okay i just want you to i just want you to see how you use the time expressions the frequency adverbs and the third person rule for uh, third person um singular subject so help me read the instructions, please, Alessandro. Alessandro? Daniel Hernandez, help me read. Okay, uh, read a uh, leads. Write at least. I write at least uh, six sentence. sentences. Use sentences, sorry. Use frequency adverbs. Use time expression. Remember to use the correct form of the verb for the third person singular. Present your sentence to the class. Uh, five minutes each. Excellent. So, write at least six sentences. Of course, using simple present. Use frequency adverbs. Use time expressions. Remember to use the correct form of the verb for the third person singular. Present your sentences to the class. You will have at least five minutes. Okay, any questions? No? Okay, so it is 9.16. I'll give you until 9.25, okay, to write these sentences. Remember, it is about your mom's daily routine. For example, my mom usually wakes up at around 9 a.m. After that, she cooks breakfast. Well, actually, she never cooks breakfast because I prefer to do it myself. She never goes to, to work because she is a housework. I mean, she is a housewife and so on. So I'll give you until 9.25 for you to complete those sentences. And don't forget that you will have to present them to the class. ¿Qué significa eso, teacher? Voy a seleccionar a todos ustedes randomly, como siempre lo hago. Let's say, for example, Alessandro, give me your six sentences. Y la va a empezar a leer. Okay? And after that, I will give you the feedback. Remember to respect grammar, structure, of course, and pronunciation. If you have any questions, I will be here. Let's start right now.
Is it done, guys? Have you finished yet? Um, sorry, is about daily routine or whatever? No, it is about your mom's daily routine. Lo que van a hacer es escribir seis oraciones sobre la rutina de su mamá. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué de su mamá, teacher? Porque quiero que ocupe en tercera persona. Quiero ver cómo ocupan el, la tercera, el verbo en tercera persona. Acuérdense que es en presente simple. Y si no saben la rutina de su mamá, eh, invéntenla. Solo quiero saber cómo, se us cómo ustedes usan el, el third person singular. I finished. Ok. Let's wait for the others to finish. I finished, teacher. Ok, thank you. If you have finished, uh, let me know in the chat. Yes. Eh, hagámelo saber en el chat los que ya terminaron, please. Finally, teacher. Okay, thank you. He's finished, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> I finished. Finished. I have finished. <laughs> Who is missing, guys? Who hasn't finished? Who is missing? Me, Roberto. Okay. Okay. I'll give you two more minutes. All right, let's start with Danny Flores. Oh, okay. I hope the words are right. Um, 
Okay. My mom wakes us up around 7 a.m., brushes her teeth and starts singing. She always goes to the garden to see her plants and then goes for a walk. She says it's good for her health. I don't know. <laughs> when she finishes walking, she returns to the house for breakfast. That's all. Okay. Very good. So you only mispronounce the verb wakes up. Okay. Wakes up. She wakes up. Uh, she wakes up. I uh -huh. Okay, okay. Okay. Very good. Continue, please, Christian. Okay. My mother's daily routine. My mother always wakes up at 6 a.m. and she cooks her breakfast. After lunch, usually goes to the church. We talk every night at around 8 and sometimes my daughter talks with my mom too. She occasionally goes to the park because she likes hike. Every Sunday, she goes to the supermarket. When I visit her, she always cooks a delicious food. Finish. Very good. Um, the part of she occasionally, you said she occasionally goes to the park because she likes, what do you say? Because she likes, you say, you said hiking, right? Is that what you said? Christian? Sí, hike, es como de caminata. Yo creo que es ah. hike. Yeah, so in that case, in that case, remember that we are using like, so we have to use ing. So she likes hiking, hiking. Okay. Uh -huh. Hiking, okay. <laughs> yeah, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Continue, please, Juan Carlos Hernandez. <clears throat> okay. Uh, she always wake up at 6 a.m. She also <clears throat> she usually turn off the alarm. She normally get up. She always take a shower and she always get dressed. And she sometimes comb their hair in the morning. Okay. Very good, uh, Kristen. Just from I'm sorry, Juan Carlos. Just remember that when we are using third person, we need to use an S at the end of the verb. So, for example, she wakes up, she turns off, she gets up, she takes, she gets dressed, and she comes. Como pueden notar, estoy usando una S al final de cada verbo porque estoy usando she. Eso solo va a cambiar cuando usted esté ocupando el she, he, it y cualquier eh, noun, singular noun. Solo son pronuncias normales cuando nosotros usamos el I, you, they, we. I wake up, you wake up, they wake up, we wake up, or plural nouns. Pero cuando estamos usando she, Ocupamos la S al final del verbo. She wakes up, she turns off, she gets up, she takes, she gets dressed, and she comes. Abril, very good. Continue, please, Jaime Antillón. Um, <clears throat> usually, my mother wake up, wakes up early in the morning at 4 a.m., Normally, she makes breakfast for the family before leaving for work. Um, often, she works a full day at her job as a secretary. Um, sometimes, she comes home and cook dinner for the family. Rarely, 
she spent she spends time with her family and then goes to bed around uh, 10 p.m. Uh, neighbor, she also makes the time for her hobby and watch TV. Okay. Very good sentences. So just remember the position of the frequency adverbs um, because most of them cannot be placed at the beginning of the sentence. Only the, the time expressions. Eh, lo que estuvimos discutiendo al principio era sobre la posición de los adverbios de frecuencia. In here. Okay. Yeah, so we place, we place them between the subject and the verb. So, for example, uh, my mother never cooks lunch. My mother never cooks lunch because it is impossible to say never my mother cooks lunch. No. So, acuérdense que sí, algunos, algunos sí se pueden usar antes, eh, al principio de la oración o al final, como por ejemplo, sometimes. Sometimes my mom cooks breakfast, for example. Sometimes my mom cleans the house. Ahí sí se puede. Pero la mayoría de veces esto no se puede modificar. Algunos sí ustedes van a ver que algunos como usually se pueden ir al final o se pueden ir al principio, pero cambia el significado de la, de, de la oración. Así que la mayoría de veces... Ustedes lo van a ver así. Lo que está en rojo. So, as you can see, we are using the subject first, then the frequency adverb, then the verb, and then the complement. Uh, I can repeat the sentences. Sure. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Um, she always wake up early at 4 a.m. She usually cooks the breakfast for the people mm -hmm. um, she normally goes to the work at 8 a.m she often go out for the dinner she occasionally uh, drink juice and she seldom read the The, mm -hmm. the computer okay very good yeah now you change the position but you forgot about something important uh, ya que cambio la, la posición del frequency adverb that, that was okay that was fine but you forgot something important pero se olvidó de algo muy importante es final de cada verbo ¿Ah? la S al final de cada verbo exactly don't forget it. Don't forget it. It doesn't matter if we are using a frequency adverb in between. We need to respect their rule all the time. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So now let's continue with Roberto Portal. Okay. My mother always wake up at 6 a.m. She usually goes walking to work. She never starts her day without coffee. She normally eats a healthy breakfast. She seldom reads the newspaper. Uh, she always helps me with me dinner at night. Repeat the first one, the first sentence. My mothers always wake up at 6 a.m. Quítale a ese, a mothers, my mother. My mother? Uh -huh. My mother always wakes up at 6 a.m. There you go. We're, we are using a phrasal verb. So uh, the, uh, the thing that we need to modify is the first thing. Let me show you. <clears throat> My mother always, you're saying this, 
wake ups up in this case is a, a preposition ok, up is a preposition entonces esto no es el verbo no se le puede agregar la S a esto que, que, es el, que no es el verbo ¿cuál es el verbo? ¿es it wake or up? wake ¿a wakes cuál vamos a agregar up. la S? wakes up there you go so my mother always wakes up continue díganme las otras Roberto. Okay, okay. She usually goes walking to work. Uh -huh. She never starts her day without coffee. Uh -huh. She usually eats a healthy breakfast. Uh -huh. She solemn reads the newspaper. She what? She solemn. Seldom. Seldom. Sorry, my dyslexia. <laughs> no problem. She seldom, do you say? Seldom, yeah. She seldom, she seldom reads the newspaper. She always helps me with my dinner at night. She always helps me make. make. Uh, in, yeah, in this case, you can say she always helps me to make or make and in spoken english they will say she always helps me make single two but the two is actually optional very good continue please daniel hernandez okay he usually wakes up at around uh 5 a.m. She rarely makes the lunch. She always goes uh, to the work around at around uh, 6 a.m. She usually boys. Como se dice con teacher? Boys. Boys, okay. Boys, uh, the breakfast. She always leaves work at 5 p.m. and she never goes to the gym okay thank you so um just this article here she goes to the work mm, yeah that's fine but sometimes we don't mention this one we don't mention the article so we only say she goes to work without the article but other all very good Continue, please. Lucero. Brian Lucero. <coughs> uh, my mother always uh, get up uh, at the uh, gym. No sé si. Continue. Uh -huh. uh, 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 after uh, getting up, uh, she always uh, takes a shower. Uh -huh. uh, usually, uh, <coughs> she 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 has uh, breakfast at six a.m. Uh, uh, before going to work. Desayuna las seis antes de yeah, I understood. Yeah, I understood. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, she uh, always uh, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Se la pasa trabajando. Uh, es, es pen, uh, no, always working from Monday to Saturday. Uh -huh. uh, uh, in, in the morning, she She's uh, she's always busy. Uh, she's always what? She's uh, always. Uh, se dice? Ocupado, or... Ah, she's always busy. Ah, busy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. In the morning she's always busy, uh, but at noon she usually 
uh, has an hour to go uh, for a lunch for lunch okay uh, she sometimes uh, she sometimes leaves the work at uh, 8 p.m repeat the sentence she uh, she sometimes leaves uh, leaves work at 8 p.m okay Okay. Okay, the same here. She gets up. Gets up. Don't forget this one. We don't place it here, we place it here. This one, usually she has or she usually has. We say she usually has yeah sometimes we can place it here when we need to separate it by using a comma but most of the times i prefer to place it here between this one and this one she usually has and you also mentioned this she always she's always working mm, yeah we can say the but because this is a routine we will use simple present she always work Works, I'm sorry, she always works from Monday to Friday. I actually don't remember if this is the, the frequency average that you use for this sentence, but yes, acuérdense. When we talk about daily routines, we don't use another tense, but simple present. She always works from Monday to Friday, porque esto es una rutina. Y cuando hablamos de rutina, siempre usamos el presente simple. No usamos el presente progresivo. Okay? Those are the only observations. Who is missing? ¿Qué falta? Yo, teacher. Juan Campos, go ahead. Okay. My mother usually wakes up 7 a.m. And then she brushes her teeth mm -hmm. and also my mom goes to work at 10 a.m. after she normally comes back to home at 4 p.m. and also my mom prepares prepares the dinner at 6 p.m. and finally she goes to bed at 9 p.m. excellent Finch. very good Excellent. So um, just remember to place at because in the first sentence you didn't mention the preposition at. You only said 7 a.m. That's fine. So just don't forget it. Pronunciation for this one. She goes. Goes. And this one as well. After. Uh, I don't know why, guys, you skipped this part. After that. Después de eso. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. After that, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so these are the only observations. Overall, okay. very good. Per Who is missing? ¿Quién falta? We are only 12 persons. Only 12 people. No, actually, we are, there are 11 of you connected. There are only 11 of you because I'm the 12. Oh falta? my God. Yeah, quien falta, guys? Moses, go ahead. Moses, yeah. not here? Acabo de conectarme, no sé. Really? Brian. Brian Sakalxot. Sorry. Yes. <clears throat> uh -huh, your sentences? Um okay. Um no hizo la tarea. No, no hizo la tarea. No, 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 no. No. No joking, mentiras, mentiras. Solo es una actividad que acabo de hacer ahorita. <laughs> no se preocupen. Okay, guys. Um, do you have any questions about this topic? Any questions that you may have? Or maybe not about this topic, but other topics 
related to English, of course. This only. Well, this tema solo sirve como para las preguntas que son WH questions and third person. Now, what do you say? I'm sorry. This topic only is for WH questions or whatever. No, it actually it doesn't matter. So, okay. As I mentioned yesterday, frequency adverb is mainly for a simple present, of course, mainly. There are some sentences when we use it always, never, often, and sometimes, okay? Especially always and never can be used in all the tenses that we have in English. Simple past, simple present, simple future, whatever. However, there are other frequency adverbs, for example, usually, hardly ever, rarely, that are mainly used in simple present. Esto que nosotros acabamos de ver, esto es principalmente para presente simple. Okay, especialmente cuando hablamos de rutinas o de, de la frecuencia de una actividad. Por ejemplo... Yo puedo decir, I always go to the gym from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Esa es una rutina. Estoy usando una frequency adverb, which is always, and I'm using a time expression, which is from blah, blah, blah to blah, blah, blah. ¿Y qué pasa si, si quiero usar qué? They, for example. I don't want to use she, he, me. I mean he, she, I, you, we. I want to use they. Can I still use frequency adverbs? ¿Crees que todavía puedo usar frequency adverbs si yo ocupo the pronoun they? Yes. 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 Why not? Why not, right? Yeah, actually, it doesn't matter, guys. No importa. Pero, teacher, ¿qué pasa si alguien me pregunta, hey, how often do you go to, to the swimming pool? Ah, I go to the swimming pool every other day. From time to time, once in a while. Can I use those teacher? Can I use time expressions and not frequency adverbs? Yes, of course. Yes, you can. Entonces, no importa mucho, guys, okay? No importa. Eh, si estamos usando primera persona, segunda persona, tercera persona singular, no importa. Siempre se pueden usar los adverbios de frecuencia y las time expressions. Y también se puede usar cuando nos están preguntando la cuando nos estén haciendo preguntas, eh, ¿cada cuánto vas al gimnasio? ¿Cada cuánto vas a nadar? ¿Cada cuánto vas a la playa? ¿Cada cuánto vas al dentista? ¿O con qué frecuencia vas al dentista? Ahí podemos usar las time expressions o las frequency adverbs. ¿More questions? Yes. Tell me. No, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> No questions? Are you sure? No, no, no. No. Moses? No, for the moment. Not for today. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I actually don't remember who was the person who were asking me, um, who was asking them, sorry, about the, the platform in the WhatsApp group. Me, teacher. It was you, right? Daniel Hernandez. Yeah. Okay. Listen to the audio. Sí, déjeme buscar ese audio. No sé si uno de ustedes me lo pidió, pero déjeme buscarlo. Ok, y se lo voy a mandar. Lo voy a mandar por el grupo para que todos lo tengan. Ok, teacher. Mm -hmm. No more questions. Ok. So let me check attendance. Daisy, no, she hasn't connected. Hernández Gallardo? Here. Barahona Rivas? Hernández Lanza? I'm here, teacher. Dueñas Alvarado? Here. Campos Hernández? Perfect. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Molina? 
Salazar Flores, Sens Guevara, Sens Guevara, no, Mercado Palma, no, Martínez Ayala, Here, teacher. Flores Orellana, Here. Antillón, eh, mi. Salazar Rauda Portal Gómez I'm here teacher Lucero de Paz I'm here teacher González Martínez Acosta Flores Acosta Flores Brian Josué. I'm here. And that's it. Okay, guys. So pretty much that was today's class. Did you, uh, uh -huh. did you mention it me? Sense um, Guevara. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm mm -hmm. the Google Cola. No problem. <laughs> okay, guys. So pretty much that was today's class. Um, I know it was very, very fast. And tomorrow we are going to introduce a new topic. And don't forget that if you have the questions, you can always ask me through WhatsApp group or you can send me a DM. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys. So that was everything for today. Thank you very much for joining. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night and take care. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. You as well. Take care, coach. You as well.